Hello, my soccer universe. What a crazy draw did we get yesterday. Honestly, uh, it's quite remarkable. Almost very, very similar to the one we got last year. Also has, has, has to be said. Uh, it is also the last of its kind because with the new Champions League format, we don't get a draw anymore. We will have a seeding system. After everything is played and we have the table, we know exactly how the bracket will pan out. Um, so yeah, enjoy it for what it is. I know if you're a fan of one of the top four favorites, you probably are not very happy with the draw because only one of you will make it to the final. If you're a fan of the other teams, yeah, I think you will like very much what you have just seen because you have a chance to make it to the Champions League final, similar like Inter did last year. Remember, last year we had three Italians and Benfica on one side and all the other the big teams on the other. And now we have something very, very, very similar. So. Without further ado, let's look here at the draw and the draw uh, first pairing out was Arsenal against Bayern Munich. Already a big one. Um, I think it's a very, very intriguing draw uh, in the sense that, you know, Bayern Munich has a lot of European clout, but is not doing very well in the league and overall in this season. Well, on the other side, Arsenal are very doing very well, but they don't really have the European clout, which was already shown against Porto. Uh, the experience of Bayern could make a huge difference right there. Second out was probably the, uh, the tie that everyone wanted to kind of not see because those teams are definitely the two outsiders. Atleti against Borussia Dortmund. Um, it's a one that is really, really tough to call because you cannot trust either of these teams. Away from home, both of those are horrific. At home, both of those are really, really uh, have a very good support. Really hard to call. I personally, and we will talk about what uh, down to rating and so on. Uh, it it will personally think that Atleti should be considered favorites, especially after they've done against Inter. But on the other side, I can very well see Dortmund running away with this one. And then, boom, we got the big one between Real Madrid and Manchester City, uh, the two top favorites. Neither of them is happy. It's a replay of the two last two semifinals. This time again, it is Manchester City will have the second leg at home, which I think is an advantage. You don't want to go to the Bernabeu uh, in there. Should Real Madrid win this one, then Real Madrid will have the second leg uh, at home uh, in the semis. Oh, the same thing goes for Manchester City, which could potentially make a difference. But I think. The way it pans out, yeah, City favorites. Uh, it has, has been said City destroyed uh, Real Madrid last year. Yes, both teams are probably not as strong this year as they were last year. Uh, especially defensively, Real Madrid are a little bit of a different option and also what they can offer up front. Still, very intriguing tie. That's the one that everyone will be looking at and no one is happy. And then we got... Luis Enrique's return to the, uh, not even the Camp Nou, to Barcelona. PSG against Barcelona, an old Champions League classic, uh, especially during Messi times. As of late, this has been tilting towards PSG. PSG is not a convincing team at the moment. However, Mbappé is only playing the Champions League for now. Um, and this is basically his last hooray. And the last time they played, yes, this was Coco with times, and Mbappé completely took Barcelona apart. I can see similar things happen here because he's the only star player in there. And yes, there's a lot of connection between those two clubs. And yes, there's a lot of ill will between those two clubs as well. Uh, let's look at the chances that the model spits out. And I was a little bit surprised that Borussia Dortmund has a slightly higher rating than Atletico Madrid. So they are slight favorites there. Uh, and you see overall, it's all very, very tight, except for the the headline fixture, where City are just so much higher rated than everybody else that they would always be big favorites. But you know, it's very tight between Atletico and uh, Dortmund. It's very tight between PSG and uh, Barcelona. Arsenal, the slightest favorites over Bayern because they're doing really well in the Champions League. Ag again, the fact that Bayern are playing the second one at home and that they'll have a little bit more experience in Europe uh, should count for something. However, I think Arsenal will find it easier to play against this Bayern team than against this really dodgy Porto side. And then, as I said, City 60%, 40% over Real Madrid. Uh, funnily enough, the draw has changed relatively little in the overall standing, except that PSG are now rising up. And I think PSG in the final 
if we look at the bracket, looks like a real possibility. Um, Atletico Madrid are the lowest rated team, so that's why PSG uh, go up. Are Arsenal and uh, Bayern, of course, moving down a little bit, but other than that, not too many changes. And if <laughs> this wasn't enough, UEFA also put the big bracket game, uh, the heavy bracket games, you know, the one where the strong teams are, all of those are on the same day. So if Arsenal, Bayern and the Real Madrid, Manchester City on one day, and then Atletico, Dortmund and PSG, Barca on the other day. So uh, you see the fixtures here. Um, we'll go on the 9th of April. Uh, we'll have the first one between Real Madrid and City and of course Arsenal, Bayern, Munich. 10th of April, it's Wednesday, then the other ties. And then a week later with reversed signs. As I said, it's a very interesting draw. It's not a great draw, I would say. I think uh, having one big clash would, is good, but I think having two big clashes already in the quarterfinals, not so sure how happy I am overall. Um, I think I've, I like it a little bit more balanced out, but that's my perspective. What do you think about, about the draw? Uh, I personally don't really have a team in this uh, Champions League and, and anymore with potentially slightly PSG potentially but you know let's see where it goes um, I'll surely be watching and it will be box office stuff and I really hope that in the last iteration of this format that will get big stuff I don't want to have the draws that we had last year any case give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe bye Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!